everyone, welcome back. I hope you're doing really well. Today I'm going to be talking about my foot care, how I care for my feet, and I'm also going to be showing you my shoe collection, which is so, so small. So with my feet, they are funny old things. They're kind of paralysed and um, kind of my right foot is completely stuck in one position and so it can't bend down, it can't go into a point yeah it's just stuck like that, like it doesn't flop like the other one flops it's like that all the time and the arch is really pulled up high that you might be able to see in some of my Instagram photos I've also got funny feeling, bad circulation and yeah I'm sure a lot of you know where I'm coming from and what it's like but I thought I'd talk about foot care because because it is actually quite important and it as when I was younger I really resented my feet and I really didn't look after them and as, I've old, as I have got older I've realized that you do have to look after them so Sean helps me with my foot care and um, one thing that we have both been loving recently is this it is our Keith's the healthy feet and I got this in my local drugstore boots yeah um, it's a bit pricey um, but it is so so good I read the reviews about it and um, everyone just raved about it um, and I saw it advertised on television um, and Sean's got really dry cracked feet and my feet get a bit dry and cracked as well and they can get quite painful so I thought let's give this a go so it is basically a really really intense moisturizer it has absolutely no smell it's not greasy it's best to put it on at night and it almost works instantly and um, yeah it dries completely clear as well so I really really recommend that so Sean will put that like on um, my feet for me another thing that he will do for me is he will help kind of keep them healthy with a pumice stone and also another thing I do is I have a pedicure once every six months I would like to have that um, I'd like to be able to have a pedicure a, a lot more but they are quite expensive um, but what I have found is that by having um, someone professionally do it they can do it properly and I won't hurt myself and also um, I have found that by having shellac on my toenails has really really helped. I know a lot of people will say oh no it weakens your nails it's no good for your nails but what I have found personally for me with my bad circulation and my nerve issues um, that the shellac has actually protected the nail and um, enabled them to grow a little bit. They don't grow much but it has actually protected them. They also look so so nice as well afterwards. Um, so I mean this is just speaking from me personally. I know lots of people have different views but I have found it to be an absolute lifesaver. As one would say it's a game changer and yeah I absolutely love having that done. So I'm just going to move over now onto my footwear. Now um, some people ask me why is your channel called Wheels No Heels and basically it came to me like that when I was setting it up because I can't wear heels as in like heeled shoes um, because my foot as I said is stuck at a, at a right angle like this. So I've never ever been able to wear heels. I've always had to wear flat shoes. And I've always resented footwear and I hate shoe shopping and uh, don't like it. However, <laughs> when I do find a pair of shoes that are perfect, and I'm sure lots of you out there know exactly where I'm coming from, it's like a miracle and you buy them in every single colour. So let me show you what footwear I wear because it might give you some ideas. Also you can share your tips and ideas and what you like to wear as well. So I think as it's summertime right now, I'll start off with my summer footwear. So the first one is my thongs <laughs> or flip flops. And these are Crocs. I know, the height of sophistication. <laughs> However, they are the only thongs that I can wear. I think it's because they are contoured 
Um, so my foot seems to stay in them quite nicely. I find them really, really comfortable. And um, yeah, I don't seem to have any problems with them. Um, they do come off occasionally, but I'm so stubborn and I'm so determined to wear them that I just do. Um, uh, a good tip is that like the children's um, thongs have um, a little bit of elastic that go around the back of the ankle. You could put um, a little bit of elastic around there if you were desperate to wear thongs or you can get like thong kind of sandals as well. But yeah, I really, really like these and um, I have found that Crocs have been really, really good for my feet. So these are a new favourite of mine. I know they're not maybe like the height of cool, um, but these are from Mountain Warehouse. You may have seen these on another video. These are ridiculously light. Like <laughs> These are ridiculously light. Like there is absolutely no weight to these at all, which is really, really nice. Um, and they are also memory foam. They're also so, so easy to get on and off. Um, they're quite wide. Um, it's a wide hole to fit your feet in um, and they slip on and slip off like a dream. So before I had those shoes as my trainers, I wore these Vans, which are a little cooler. Um, they're just canvas shoes and I have found them to be quite comfortable. I wouldn't wear these like as an all day thing or an or like on a long flight or anything like that. Um, they're also very, very cold and uh, my circulation's not that great. Um, they're a little bit more tricky to put on and off because um, you've got the laces and they tie up and everything like that. So I don't tend to wear these that much, but I do think they are quite cute. They're also really small, I've got really small feet. Um, so they look really cute on. Um, I did have Converse's and I was like, yes, I love Converse's. I love the way they look but I could not get on with them. They're so, for me, they're so heavy and I found them so uncomfortable. So I had to sell them and I got these ones instead. Let me know what you are. Are you Vans or are you Converse? When I'm wearing um, nice dresses and I'm going to like a wedding or an event or something like that, I will tend to try and find something like a ballet pump, which, by the way, is a complete nightmare, finding ballet pumps because I have one foot considerably smaller than the other one, like a complete size difference. Um, so it won't stay on and it will fall off. And I've tried inner soles, but it doesn't quite work. An absolute nightmare. Then, like, I don't know how long my friend's been married for, but I want to say seven years. Seven years ago, I went into Primark and I found these bad boys these ballet pumps and um, you know because we don't really walk much they shoes tend to last <laughs> um, these are amazing because can you see they've, they've kind of got like elastic all around them so they um, go onto your feet and then kind of grip onto your foot so these fit perfectly and I was so so oh my god I can't believe I found these shoes um, that I bought them in this lovely colour as well and these shoes honestly like the best ballet pumps I've ever had. My next shoes which you will have seen are these little um, ankle boots. These are really nice and easy to get on because they have the zip. Now there is a little bit of a heel and my foot can kind of cope with that but I can't wear them for too long because it does start to hurt and um, so I would just wear these in an evening. To be honest I've probably only worn them like three, two or three times. Um, but yeah, I love these ones so much. I bought them in burgundy as well. But I've never worn the burgundy ones. Um, but yeah, and again, these were from Primark. Isn't it amazing? Now I'm sure you will have seen my Uggs. I have so many Ugg boots because they are the best. I know they're expensive, but I mean, I don't have that many shoes. I don't spend that much on shoes. So these are a really, really good investment. They're super, super, super comfy. They're easy to get on. These are just the regular tall Uggs. I've tried the fancy ones, um, which are a little bit more structured. They're really hard to get on and off, but if you just go for the regular tall Uggs, they're really easy to get on and off. Um, I've got short ones, long ones. I've got slippery ones, the baby button ones. <laughs> I've got gray ones. I have slipper Uggs. But yeah, I find these amazing to help keep the heat in in the um, winter because my circulation is so bad and they're so comfortable. Oh god, I could talk about Uggs all day. 
And then last but no means least are my lovely riding boots. These are actually two sizes too big for me, as you can see. Uh, but someone at work was selling these for five pounds and I'm sat on a horse anyway. So I thought, I'm just gonna get them. Um, and yeah, they're absolutely fine. They are too big and I feel like a penguin or something when I wear these. Uh, they're just cheapy ones. I think, would you say this is PVC, like a PVC kind of material? Um, absolute nightmare to get on and off. Oh, on my right foot, I can't actually get it off. Uh, Sean has to literally pull it off with me sat down like that. Um, yeah, absolute nightmare, but you know, they look good on the horse and they're fine and they do the job. And for a fiver, who's gonna argue? So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye.